You know what might be like a really shady way to earn a lot of money? What if you were like, what if you went to a retirement home full of like old ladies and you found all the widows and you decided to try to make relationships with all the widows so that when they die, you get all their money. All right, if you guys are like super down on your luck, you know, you got a crazy amount of college bills and stuff. I got some really good ideas that I don't need to use yet, but, oh wait, let me see what Moon Moon looks like. Somebody post the link. <laughs> like this is stone. That's what Moon Moon looks like. He's the girl. <laughs> he likes to blaze out of his mind. He doesn't look 40. Look at his skin. His skin's like mid 20s. This is fine to show, right? Because he was on Twitch, the BlizzCon thing. It's not like a secret photo. He's bald in a little bit, but I mean, I knew somebody in high school that was like half bald. So you can't look at the hair as like a reason. <laughs> he got Soldier 76's hairline. <laughs> oh my God. I knew some guy that had a full beard when he was 13 and uh, he like shaved HK into it, which was the name of some girl. And he asked that girl out and the girl rejected him. And then he spent the rest of the day with HK shaved into his face. He moons on the left. Whose dad was that? Moon Moon is a combination of Markiplier and that dad from Mouth in the Middle. You guys just make up the dumbest comparisons and shit. Like, I don't see him like that at all. He doesn't look like Brian Cranston, nor does he look like Markiplier. A guy that works at my Costco actually dropped your name earlier. The only thing he mentioned about you was that you played Cooper Race on stream for 400 hours. Wait, like a customer? Well, how would you ever get, like, my name brought up? Was he like, yeah, I want to buy this Odyssey game and run Cooper Race for 500 hours. Is that what he was like? I'm just gonna start telling people that Moomin is my dad. I'm the product, I'm the offspring of some fangirl that he fucked. Come on. I don't know why I'm missing this. I can't. There we go. That's good enough. Oh my god. There we go! Fuck! Oh my god. That's... That's so bad. Alright. What's next after Mario 64? I don't know. I'm just kind of doing what I feel like. Maybe I'll be a Destiny 2 streamer. Or Destiny 3 at that point. Don't hate on Destiny because you're a fuck boy. Oh, wait a second. I wasn't even hating on Destiny, but now that you call me a fuck boy, you know what? Go back to playing your game. Oh wait, you can't because there's no content. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I... Oh man, that was really unlucky. That was really unlucky. He... He dropped us out of the fucking... Out of the fucking zone. That sucks dick. Alright. We, we gotta do another one. It sounds Mikey or Echoey. Alright, anybody other than Lily having this problem? Because Lily's laptop is like a stock laptop she got from like Dell headquarters in like 2005. It was built and I got it for free. Why would your friend of your uncle build you a computer that sucks dick? What an asshole. He's like, yeah, let's make a pre-built for Lily. Let's strap a, a Pentium 4 in there and let's get, you know, 500 megabytes of RAM. She's gonna love this shit. She just plays The Sims. Thanks for two Zanata. Can you please stop using the R word? I identify as an R word. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Zanata. You should hit me in the whispers next time, but I appreciate the two dollars. There's been a couple people that reached out to me doing for merch stuff. It's it's kind of like I can tell that they're trying to be the middleman, and I don't need a fucking middleman. I just need to find someone to make shirts for me. Like if somebody was like, hey, this is how much you're gonna make if you do it by yourself. If you do it through me, you're gonna make more money. If somebody was like that, I'd be like, damn. All right, let's do it. But no, every single time they're like, hey, I want a 70% cut and uh, we'll do the design for you. It'll be, uh, it'll be Mario style Clint Stevens. It's like, no, fuck off. I'm not gonna get a plushie. I, uh, I don't know how to do 
that. Like, you gotta think about it. If you're Lyric, you got every single, you know, dude slurping on your dick in your business email. You wanna see my business email? It's got like five messages ever on it. And one of them is because someone on my Steam's friend list wanted me to play, like, PUBG with him and just fucking spam, like, every account I had. He's like, hey, I don't know if you're asleep, but I wanted to get a hold of you because I'm really bored and want to play PUBG. It's like, wow, thanks. I'm glad I got an email notification on my phone for that. Do I agree with materialism? What do you, what, do I agree with it? Give me, like, the rundown of what materialism is. Like, being obsessed with, like, material goods. Am I down with being obsessed with material goods? I like getting nice things because then people think I'm cool. Like, I want to get a nice car and I don't even want to drive it. I just want to keep it parked in my parking lot. I don't know, a little driveway. And just have people be like, wow, that guy is fucking loaded. That's all I want. I mean, if I got, let's say I got a Lamborghini with no engine in it and like you couldn't drive it like it was just the shell of a lamborghini how much would that cost i could just keep it keep it like in the driveway and then if anybody tries to steal it they'd be like wow wait there's not even an engine in this fucking piece of shit i feel like there's stuff that you can't see there's stuff out there that we don't know yet think about it like this you know the way that dogs are they don't understand shit about anything we do all right they're just there to lick you and like pet you and eat food or wait, they don't pet you, but you you pet them. There's probably some alien species out there that views us like dogs. They're like, wow, look at them. And they're little fucking beams and they run around the earth and like, you know, fucking launch missiles at each other. They're so stupid. They might be fucking invisible in like a different dimension and they can see into ours or something. Who knows? We wouldn't even be able to comprehend what they're doing because they're so goddamn smart. There's probably aliens out there like that. It's like trying to explain to a dog, like, just something that it can't understand at all. It's- it would be like that. It's just like, okay. Do I know what matter is? It's like stuff... ...in the universe. Okay, okay. This is like, we're playing up against a gold, but I, I mean, I think we could beat this time. If every other star is good, I think... Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! No! <sighs> what a small mistake that kills the entire run. Thanks for the 20 and on. He like donated that during the choke. You like saw me falling and you hit send. You're like, all right, congratulations on a hundred stars. <laughs> Who the fuck made this? <laughs> Dude, this must be so frustrating. It must be so frustrating being a speedrunner. I'm trying to think, uh, I guess it depends what game you speedrun. That fucking clip is so good, dude. Or not. Who the hell made this? <laughs> Man, that fucking sucked dick when that happened, dude. I was like a minute ahead. <laughs> How do you tell your male friends you're bi? I mean, there's lots of ways you could do it. I don't know, you just tell them. You can start sucking on their dick. What's the grossest thing I've licked? Oh, that's hard. Probably something like, I don't know, that's too hard. I've licked too many things. There was something that was kind of gross, but it was on the other I, I think it was, I don't know. It was on the other side of a hole in the wall, so I don't know what it was exactly. Damn, don't hit the wall. Are you kidding me? Dude, this is not my day. Fuck it. Fuck it.